Hello, this is Chip with WebVideoChefs.com, and I want to show you the workflow for Final Cut Pro 10 and the XD Cam. So we know in Final Cut Pro 7, you can just go file, log in, transfer, and pull in the XD Cam files. Of course, it's not that easy with Final Cut 10. So you have to download two files, and uh, these links are on Sony's website. And um, if you go to WebVideoChefs.com or viewing this, on um, on our site, we'll put the links to these two pieces of software that you have to download, and be prepared to register with Sony, unfortunately, and then restart your computer. So anyway, once you download it, it's called XD Cam Transfer. So we open it, and then I have some files already loaded. But let's just say if we didn't have files loaded already, let me just show you what I do. We'll go to Add Source, and then we'll go to our BAP BAPAV. I have this folder called Tech Talk, and if you know anything about XD Cam, you know this folder right here is what you need. So you just need this root folder, BPAV. Once we click it, it'll import all of the files, and then you can scrub through the files like uh, a regular login capture. Tell me what your workflow was. So that is, I'm sitting here, and I'm going to hit an I, and I'm going to hit an O for out point. Then I'm just going to call this a test underscore one test one and then creator which is metadata chip D test footage all right then I'm just going to ask my in and out points that are set here it just shows uh, time code nine seconds so, so then what's real important before I hit import I'm going to show you where it goes so when you first open this application or this uh, XD cam transfer software it's going to give you a dialogue box about where do you want your things to go I just leave everything in the default uh, in the movies folder XD cam transfer you can change that I, I suggest on leaving that especially if you use this with Final Cut Pro 10 um, it's just wise to leave it there I leave everything else the same um, you can have handles um, XML everything like that once imported open the files of Final Cut Pro 10 obviously you can't do that um, you have to import them back into Final Cut Pro so we're going to hit import and there we go and once it's imported, we're going to go to our Finder and our Movies folder. And Tech Talk under Sony XD Cam. And we see that it is 43 megabytes right here. Did you around? Mm -hmm. Now, strap that one around. Okay, so that's our nine second clip. So, what we're going to do in our webinar folder under Events, we're just going to do the regular good old import files. And then there it is right here. I'm going to add it to this existing event. Um, I could uh, create proxy media. I'm not. And that's what I added. And then I'm going to add my new project. And then we'll just call this uh, test XD cam. And then once I have my new project, I'm going to just throw it down here on a timeline. And there it is. 1080p 29.97 surround sound. And there you have Before your... Before you did this, tell me what your workflow was. And that's where you have your footage and everything like that. So that's how you import uh, XD Cam Final Cut Pro 10. That's our our seminar and our um, tutorial for today. Thanks so far, so much for watching. Any more questions? Hit us up on the website. Ask at webvideochefs.com. Thank you much.